Greetings everyone, Master Grogan here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. It's day 25. Day 25 of the 31 days to become bullyproof. Wow, we are here, 25 days in. Can't believe it. Well, as always, if you haven't listened to the previous 24 days, man, check it out. A lot of heartfelt uh, emotions, a lot of ways I've bullied myself in the past, and of course, a lot of tips, suggestions, and strategies on what I've done to make things better. Today, what am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about another way, obviously, of how I bullied myself, and that is neglecting the little things in life. Neglecting myself from doing the little things that I know I need to do, that I know will bring me not only the greatest joy and satisfaction, but the little things that are gonna help me be the person I was born to be, to utilize my God-given talents, to have everything I need to empower and inspire and motivate the millions of people that, you know, it's my goal to empower, empower, inspire, and motivate. And what are those little things I'm talking about? Well, first little thing is just shutting down. Yeah, just shutting the engine down. Meditating. It's one of the best, absolute best ways to relax the mind. When your mind, and I know my mind, I'm hyperactive, as you can tell, is squirrel, red ball, shiny object. I'm all over the place all the time. That thing's working overtime, baby. It's chugging and chugging and chugging and chugging and chugging along. And it keeps getting distracted. And the more it's distracted, the more I, my mind tries to work on staying focused. It's a battle I fight. And I know millions of others fight that battle as well. But the little things to shut it down like a little meditation. Now, it sounds so simple, and truthfully it is, but what's simple to do is also simple not to do. What's easy to talk about, what's easy to Oh, you know what? I, I just meditate. It's, it's easy to be easy could be easy. But when your mind's racing a million miles an hour, sometimes it doesn't want to shut down. But meditation, I'm not kidding, is one of the best ways that I found to help slow me down, to help that engine just take a the mental engine to take a little bit of a break. Now your mind's gonna wander all over the place. Now I'll tell you, especially if you haven't meditated before, here's an example uh, I was given a long, long time ago about when you're meditating, realize it's gonna take a while to get to where you want. But step by step, little by little, you'll get there and you'll really start seeing the benefit and the results. But also know that, especially if you're new to meditating, your mind is going to wonder. Do not punish your mind. Do not get on to yourself and say, God, I knew I couldn't meditate. I'm just too hyperactive. I just can't focus and I can't do this. You're beating yourself up. The example I was given, pretend your mind is like a little baby, okay? Now, you've taken that baby to the beach. You put that baby on a towel. Now away from the ocean so it doesn't get in the ocean, right? But that baby's on a, a blanket or a towel. But what is that baby gonna inevitably do? It's gonna crawl off the towel or the blanket, right? Now, your mind is inevitably gonna wonder. So the baby crawls off, do you beat the baby? Dang it, baby, stay on that blanket. Of course not. You simply pick the baby up, put it back in the middle of the blanket, knowing it's probably gonna wander off or crawl off again, so you gotta watch it. Well, your mind is probably gonna wander off, especially if you're new to meditation. Don't beat the baby, don't beat your mind up by calling yourself names and bullying yourself even more. Just realize it's probably gonna wander off and you probably need to bring it back and put it back on the middle of the blanket. Yeah, easier said than done, of course, such as everything. But I'm sharing with you, oftentimes, I know when I get too stressed out, I think, man, what do I need to do? Duh, <laughs> hello, meditate. There's just, I mean, countless meditative apps um, uh, in the app store. Now, my, I don't get any endorsement for saying this, but one that I use is Calm, C-A-L-M. I've had it for years, and it, it, does a, it does a great job for me. Now, there's all kinds of others out there, like one's Headspace. I know I got a buddy that uses Headspace, and he lives by, or loves, I guess he lives by it. Uh, he says that's a, that's a good one. So there's others out there, but one way, like I said, I've bullied myself in the past, is knowing what to do, but not doing it. Knowing those little bitty things that would help things become better, like meditating, like going to bed a little bit earlier. Yeah, yeah, by saying no to the drive-through. Yeah, saying no to that second thing of popcorn at the movies. I know it's so tough, but it's those little bitty things. And those little bitty, you know, journey of a thousand miles starts with what? One step. Those little bitty things day in and day out are what the biggest change in a good direction or a not so good direction. So the little things work if you're willing to do the little things. And I highly encourage you, if you're not meditating, it's something to check out. 
And I had one guy I just talked to at the gym recently, and he goes, well, I'd love to meditate, but I'm a Christian, I can't meditate. And I was really kind of stumped by that. And there might be others thinking that same thought. I said, well, meditating has nothing. I'm a Christian too, born again Christian, baptized just a couple years ago. Meditating has nothing to do with not being a Christian. Matter of fact, here, here's how what I was told in the seminar I went to. They said, when you pray to God, you're talking to him. When you meditate and shut your mind off, you're listening to what God has to say. So it's nothing spiritual in any way, shape, or form. I guess that is, I, I tend to think of that way. But what it is, is it's shutting your mind down in order to be at your very, very best, in order to listen to what God's saying to you. Because oftentimes we're unable to hear God because so many other thoughts are processing in our mind. So there you go. Day 25, doing the little things that you know you need to do. They add up, baby. All right, what is tomorrow gonna be? What is day 26 gonna be? Well, you're gonna have to wait and tune in tomorrow to find out. I love you, God loves you. Please, share that love with the world. And until we talk again, you get out there and do your best, I promise. You'll be your very best, you'll become bullyproof, baby, and you'll live your best kick in life. God bless you, God bless your loved ones. Chat real soon, day 26, coming up tomorrow. Bye-bye.